Hello everybody. I want to talk a little bit about long lining and how it can be useful to all kinds of horses, especially when it comes to building balance and strength and elasticizing and gymnasticizing different muscle groups. And so today I'm here with Scooby. And Scooby is a Welsh cross from what I've heard. The owners um, would like him to get prepared for carriage driving. And so we started him loosely on the long lines just to get him used to, you know, having those lines left and right around his body and around his legs. And I'm, I've chosen to just do it off of the dually halter. And when you take a look, if you can see it, well, maybe you can't, but I have clipped the long lines into the, not the rings of the actual dually schooling part of the halter, but into the, those holes, those rings that are underneath so that I don't continuously pull and apply pressure to his little nose. <laughs> so he just basically, when he's stretching into the contact while I engage him with my whip from behind like I would with any other horse, you know, he just kind of finds a nice, comfortable, steady way to um, be, be kind of balanced so that he can push into that a little bit if he wants to. And, you know, just in general, for me, it never hurts to have a horse work on the ground because you can have such a wonderful relationship with them because you're a little bit more on equal terms with all of our feet on the same ground. And then it's about, you know, a little bit of speed and direction, as always, when you want to establish leadership in a kind way. And I will just show you, I'll put him into a little bit of a trot here in a moment. Come on, my Scooby, and let's trot. Come, hop, hop, trot. So, stop, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the cool part is with, with Scooby, just like with every other horse that learns this kind of ten technique of moving on the ground, is that he is already stretching into forward, downward, into this little bit of contact that I was just describing. And you can see actually how he's tracking up quite nicely. His back is swinging <laughs> and he stretches forward downward at times and then he comes back up because the muscle and the, the muscles in the back and in the neck can't, you know, for any length of time be in a super stretchy frame yet. But this, look at this, this is actually a really, really nice little trot that I get from him. And it's relaxed, it's a regular rhythm, just like any other horse. That's what I'm looking for. He's stretching. <laughs> And he's ever so cute, isn't he? <laughs> and then after a while, I'm just going to take him into a little bit of a smaller circle. Just to like school his balance a little bit. You know, trying to keep the same rhythm on the smaller circle here. Engaging a little bit. And you can see those circular wave motions that I make with my whip towards his tail end. That just says to him, let's keep moving at the speed. Now I'm going to take him onto a bigger bigger circle again here walking with him you know projecting my energy always saying hey this is not nothing exciting just a little bit of a workout for him we'll make another small little circle here so very nice come keep going keep going come come Mr. Scooby come you know he takes a little break here <laughs> I'm not sure why <laughs> come come trot trot no big deal. We haven't been doing this for very long yet, I have to tell you. So, you know, some of the stuff here that we're able to show, it's amazingly soon how quickly he understood everything that I was asking and how quickly he's doing it. And I am very careful not to push for him too, too quickly and too much, right? So now we're going to go into a little half circle here. And a little turn. And there's still... A few steps walk here, that's okay. <laughs> Took me a while to switch my whip, and it's not quite fluid yet, but let's go back into the trot. Mr. Scooby, come, 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 trot, trot. <laughs> yeah, and we have to also remember that ponies, although they always like, look so cute and are quickly sort of categorized into the more feisty, a little bit more forward type of horse, but they are just like every other horse you know, not used to moving at, at a speed like this, like the trot or the canter, for any length of time. They're, they still have to build their um, stamina and their, you know, aerobic fitness, just like any other horse. And so I'm just doing a little bit here, 
just to show you <laughs> again a little bit of a stretch would be nice I'm going to engage him a little bit more to the side it's not quite there yet but we'll we'll see we'll make a little smaller circle again come so good 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 so and I'm going to try and you know half halt him a little bit apply a little bit of left right flexion to the front of his little face <laughs> while I'm still engaging the hind end on a smaller circle, right? And that's to engage perhaps a little bit of a softening of the neck. And we'll have a look at that in a moment again. So, good boy. And I'm going to give him a walk break, you know, because I think he's been sort of just a little bit of a backyard pony for quite a while. And I can see him breathing. <laughs> All of these things that we sometimes take for granted, you know, aren't always, they're not always just easily acquired, even for the smaller horses. And I think the camera just lost us there for a moment. <laughs> now we got it back. Very good. So we're now going to do a couple more turns here, just so that you can see. There you go. There you go, good boy. So there it is in the trot, a little turn. Yeah, good boy, Scooby. So, you know, and it's just a matter of practice when these things become a little bit more, it's a little bit more self-understood. Come, 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 come. So, and then I'm going to give him another walk break here. There you go, good boy. So, and... This is all, you know, just one of those times where you say, wow, small but mighty. <laughs> A lovely little horse he is. And eventually somebody else will come in and tag team with me to um, get him used to a little card. Because I don't have any experience with that. But the long lining is just such a super cool tool. Like I said, for all horses, all breeds, really to just kind of learn to balance themselves and to just kind of have fun with the little twirlies that we do when we start learning the turns. And then I also like to teach them in ho to back up off of the lines. Yeah, back up, back up. Oh boy, back up. Just a couple of steps here. So, and walk on. Oops, that was a little bit loud with my whip here. <laughs> It hit a little, the tail end hit the fence line a little bit. So he got a little bit of a tiny bit of scared, but nothing bad here. And again, you know, he is definitely breathing hard, even after just these few little twirlies. So I'm going to give him a break and let that be it for us for today. And just, it was just a little bit of an idea I thought might be fun for everybody to watch and see how, you know, this very lovely small and very smart horse can do everything that every other horse can do <laughs> so i thank you for watching and have a have a go at it yourself if you like if you have somebody who can teach you or just do a little bit of lunging while the groundwork all right my good boy thank you and have a lovely day